Welcome to Linux in the Shell, episode 004, the PACE command. My name is Dan Washko. I will be your host. As a reminder, that this episode merely shows examples of using the PACE command. So to get the full write-up, head on over to the website, linuxintheshell.org, and check out episode 4, and uh, also listen to the audio. The PACE command is a very simple command. What it does is it takes one or more files, or standard in, and it pastes those together each line consecutively. So line one of file one is pasted to line one of file two and so on and so forth. So a simple example will suffice to show. In my example directory I have a bunch of files. We're going to start with text one and text two. So if I do a cat text one dot txt you'll see that uh, it just has numbers one through five. Cat text two dot txt is the letters A through B. So now what I can do is I can type paste text 1, text 2, and then when I hit enter, it pastes them together. Line 1 of file 1 and line 1 of file 2 are now appearing there, separated by the tab, which is the default delimiter in the paste command. Now I can also do more than one of those files. I could do three. So if I go up and do text3.txt, it adds the file, the contents of text3 in there. So you see now that line one of each of those files now appears tabbed, eliminated, uh, and line two, and line three, and so forth. So now let's say you didn't want to use a tab. Well, you could specify that with the dash d or dash delimiters equals and then in quotes what you want so let's say a comma so let's go with text one text two and text three and when I hit enter it puts commas instead of tabs and notice that the commas appear in each of the locations where the delimiter would be now if you paid careful attention you would have seen that the option is delimiters plural that allows you to specify more than one delimiter which will uh, be applied accordingly. So if I had a comma and then a colon like that in double quotes and did the same thing, text 1, text 2, text 3, and hit enter, whoa, I got double, double equals here. We want to get rid of that. I now have the first file is separated from the second with a comma, and then the second file is separated from the third with a colon. Very simple. Now, what if you were to specify delimiters? Same thing, but in this case only do text 1 and text 2 like the first example. Well, what you would get is it would ignore the final delimiter because there's no other file coming in here to be pasted. So you just get the one comma a, two comma b, three comma c. Though it's, it's smart enough to not add that extra delimiter on, you don't need it. Now, here's an example here. Paste d. I'm going to use the dash d instead of delimiters. And I'm going to do text like that. So you're going to see all of them. Now notice that there's a lot on that third line, fourth file that I'm pulling in there. So I, I can do that um, and if I were to pass delimiters colon again it uses it starts to repeat the process so it does comma and then colon and then back to comma again. That's how it operates. Be aware of that. Um, I have another file in here called oddball and that's because it only has three lines in it. So if I were to do that and include oddball in here watch what happens with this behavior. It does comma, colon, comma, colon as you would expect it to do. But look what happens on the final two lines where there are no additional lines there's only three lines in the oddball file so there are no additional lines. What it has done is it has added a colon at the end there even though there isn't an additional line to be pasted to there. So that's the way that the paste command 
acts when there's not enough lines. It still treats that there are values there and still keeps that column separate, separate from just being blank. It treats it as there's actual values in there, even though the value is nothing. So if I were to do this again and come back around with text one and hit enter, you see that it doesn't have any value after the last colon, but it does have a space, no value, but it does retain the space as if there was a value there and puts a comma after that line. You put in the value for the fifth, fourth and fifth lines for text one that txt that I'm repeating again. So just be aware of how that actually works with pasting together and delimiters. There's one final option to the paste command and that's serial and that kind of turns the output on its head. So I can specify dash s or dash dash serial and text one, text two, text three. And when I hit enter here, instead of it pasting each line vertical, you know, each line side by side horizontally in the file, it pastes the contents of file one horizontally separated by the tab. Then underneath that, it preserves that ordering and pastes contents, entire contents of file two. So you see, instead of it being displayed in a horizontal or more of a columnar data, it's being presented in more of a row type data and so just be aware of how that actually works um, and it looks kind of odd if I were to do a larger file um, if I were to do all the text files together and it kind of makes it all jumbled now and looking at it in the output of a screen is not ideal but if you had to do something where you needed to separate these in the columns and, and in fact to create a comma separated file you can do that specifying the delimiter to be a comma and now when you if you were to pipe that to or output that to a file you'd have a comma separated file uh, in a format that maybe you really actually wanted it in so that's uh, a use for that the last thing I want to show with paste command is that I had mentioned it works on files but it also works uh, with standard in you can replace one of the files with standard in so for instance um, if I were to use the cat command on text 3 that shows all the flowers if I were to pipe that to paste and do delimiter comma and then text 1 and the dash to specify you want to use standard in coming from the output of the cat command and text2.txt when I hit enter it has put text the, the cat com, uh, output of text3 in between um, files 1 and 2 when it pasted. it. P paste command very simple very versatile but very simple uh, check out the man page for it check out the info page not really much more than what I talked about here uh, check out the write-up on the website. Thank you for listening, and you have a great day.